Hello everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to Potioncraft. This is a game that came out, I don't know, pretty recently. I just saw a, a brief, like, intro on Twitch, and I thought I would give it a try. When when did it come out, anyway? It's, I mean, it's still in Early Access. It was published, like, literally yesterday in Early Access. I guess there was a demo for a while, but I didn't know anything about it. I suspect I won't find this game, like, super amazing, but it looked fun to at least give a try. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like... I don't even know how to describe what I know of this game. Uh, I hope it's going to look okay. It looks okay now on the main menu and on the first screen I went to. But I had to do some kind of weird stuff to capture it because it insists in running full screen. And my screen is not the same uh, aspect ratio as a YouTube video is supposed to be. So I, I did some cropping and hopefully nothing important shows up in those areas. Anyway, so uh, you kind of like, okay, you play as a new alchemist, and you like, oh, you found a, a place to settle down, there's like a house you can use that has some alchemy equipment, and you open a potion shop, and that's like, the whole game is making potions and selling them to people who want them, and like discovering new potions to make, and better ways to make the potions you know how to make, and selling them, and that's like, that's the entire game, as far as I'm aware. Um, so you add ingredients to the cauldron, so go ahead and, uh, take two terrarias. Which one is that? That's this one. Dump them in the old cauldron, and so it shows you kind of like the, 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 the structure of how potions are made is you start at the center of this little map of, like, where stuff is, um, and every ingredient kind of adds a segment to your path of where you're going to end up going. Um, and, uh, so this is the kind of the path we're carving, and, and there are, and, and then you stir it to actually move along the, uh, the route you planned. Hooray! Um, so now there's this, there's an effect here. That's kind of the, the big thing about the potion map, is that there are places where there are effects. So if you use the bellows when you're near... In effect, you add that to the potion you've made. So yes, let's finish this potion, and it turns out the effect that was here was healing. And we spent two of each to get there, but actually you can do a little bit better. Um, because when you, if you just dump it in here, so you notice that the, the path this thing has has kind of got like a, an, an, like partway through an X. That's what you get if you don't grind it up. That's like the minimum amount you can use. But if you smush it, you go kind of further along that path. As you can kind of you can even like partially smush it if you only want to go part of the way. Part of the way to twice as far anyway. And so this is more efficient than using the same thing twice. Um, and also for some potions may have a different path even. Because the second half of the path doesn't have to be exactly the same as the first. Uh, as indeed here it's not, for example. Anyway, so we'll stir this one as well. And look at that. We get the same healing potion. Hey. Great. I can save a potion recipe behind whatever. I'm not gonna. Well, I don't know. That that's a fine recipe, I guess. Anyway, and you're in this. You're you're the owner, and you can go to the shop. There are like several rooms. You can press A to go check out the shop. You can sell potions to the people who want to buy them. This guy burned his tongue, and he wants a healing potion. Incredible. Here you go. We can sell it to him for ten bucks. You also want a healing potion because your husband's sick. We're gonna haggle with you. And there's this whole like haggling mini game you can play. Where you see every time we click on like one of these yellow things, she's willing to pay a bit more, but over time she gets annoyed with the haggling. And so we got her down to Well, up to twelve, I guess. Um There you go. So you don't make a lot of money. Oh no, this, this customer wants um, something to rat, wants rat poison. So we're going to head over to our little backyard here, where we can harvest stuff that we have growing, I guess. Now we need a potion. Yes. I remember from my alchemy lessons that I can use one terraria and one fireball, which thank goodness is exactly what I have to make a potion of poisoning. Hopefully, it wants them ground, because otherwise I'd end up like here, which we can see doesn't have an effect. 
And look at that. We landed, you know, close enough to something. Well, actually, I guess we can't see it yet, but soon we will. Well, we, you kind of explore the map by building potions that go into that area. And so we made some kind of weak rat poison. There you go. I mean, I guess I'll haggle. I don't really understand if there's any penalty for haggling, as long as you don't suck at it. I also don't know how important, like, having money is. Like, is there really... Is it pushing hard on you to... Okay, so we got an extra dollar out of that, I think. Hey, well, we have nothing left to make potions out of and no one to sell potions to. So we're going to go to sleep and end the day. Click on the bed. Anything else I can do in this room? No. So that's, like, the whole tutorial, I think. Incredible. Yep. And in our garden, we have, like, several things to make. Several copies of the kind of basic ingredients, I guess. I don't know of there being any penalty for, like, harvesting everything every day. We got a lot of junk in the, in the back there. So, what does our next customer want? There's no time pressure, by the way, except when you're haggling. This person wants a healing potion, and so we could use our recipe for healing potions. And I guess we will. Um, how do I do that? What is this? Oh, this is like... Achievements or something? You do all of these things... And you get... I'm not sure, are these... Talent points or something? Oh, the manual. Yeah, they're not done with that. Upgrades? They don't have that either. So where exactly is my recipe book, though? I saved... I saved a recipe. Okay, you can sort these. Is it this? Oh, it is. I thought that tab was already selected. So we could um, just build a weak potion of healing without having to do all grinding stuff up by just grabbing this out of the recipe book. Um, I believe we have, like... Um, I mean, we could try, I guess, making... So you can, you can um, make more powerful potions uh, if you can land, like, right close to the center of something. So what if we said... Do I have one that goes down? No, I have one that goes up. Okay, so I have only one way to go right and one way to go down. So uh, it's true that I, I could be, like... I could build a better healing potion if I spent, like, more resources on it, but I'm, I'm not going to bother. They don't pay that much for healing potions, just make one. Yeah, ten bucks. We'll haggle a little. Actually, can I... Is there something in my, like... There's some kind of, like, upgrades of some kind that you get for yourself here. And I don't know how to find that. How many pages are in my recipe book? I guess six. You can only save a limited number of recipes for now. Well, I mean, okay. It seems to want me to do these things at the moment, so maybe I'll build one by hand for, for practice here. And, I mean, I guess it's worth checking just how much would they give me for a stronger healing potion. Is it worth bothering with this? Let's say... Let's say we tried that. 
we know they were gonna pay me ten. What if what if we did this? Made a better one. I believe there are level three potions, but you like can't use them early in the game or something. Anyway, we'll save this also for you know a, a good healing potion. Oh, did it get saved as a? Uh, okay. It got saved before I knew what it was. So save recipe now. Okay, so this is a medium strength potion of healing. We spent one extra um, Terraria on it. Oh, I have to say finish. And they're paying, you know, 17 instead of 10. So is one Terraria worth 7 bucks? I have no idea. We'll haggle on it, though, a bit. Hooray! Yeah, so 20 bucks. Oh no, you need poison for things. Alright. So... Poison we know is down here. And uh, we have... Still more uses for this Terraria stuff. It seems good. And... Uh, and Fire Bell? This is kind of weak. We could make it a bit better, although I guess not much. By adding a second fire bell instead. Well, not instead, but... I, mean, I don't know, it seems fine. See if they'll... See what they'll pay me for this. I should be able... This should be good enough, yeah. Actually, since I don't even know how much they would pay me for the, for the first one, it's not that useful to know what they're paying me for this stronger one. 21, okay, and I'll haggle, of course. Ah! I missed the haggle button, and then in my panic to press it, I missed the thing I was aiming for as well. And it does get harder to haggle over time, so you only, you only get so long to try to improve your deal. I'll take it. 25, good deal. Thanks. You, yeah, you want, uh, you want a healing potion, right? I mean, so far, I haven't really been under any ingredient pressure, so why don't we just make you up a, a nice, normal healing potion? Here you go. It's not an incredible deal. But, you know, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. And we get, like, stars and who knows what. Hey, do you sell anything but herbs? No. So you can buy stuff. And these are, like, kind of... Really... You're gonna charge me 24 for Terraria? Or 24 for 17 Terraria, which would be a totally fine deal. No, 24 for one. So that like making a big healing potion sucks, and so does making like a good poison potion. They all Yeah, you know, assuming these are reasonable prices anyway. I don't know. I see no compelling reason to buy any of this junk. Tangleweed goes kind of far. That's nice. It's not even that expensive. Let's grab a couple of those. Sure, I'll haggle. It's not the most exciting mechanic in the world. In fact, I wish it didn't exist. Kind of making the player do boring stuff. It's not a particularly skillful thing to do. Okay, so like learn okay, we're done. Learn a new talent. How does one do this? 
the alchemist's path. I see these things, and there's stuff I should do. We can look downstairs and see there's, yeah, a basement. What is this? Oh, new potion base. So instead of water, it could be based in something else. Interesting. This is zoom. Okay. But I know there's some way to, like, upgrade stuff for your yourself. Is that this? To open talents, click the player level button? Are you kidding me? Okay, whatever. What does alchemical practice do? Additional bonuses appear on the map every day. Okay. Well, trading seems fine. I have five points? I don't know. This seems fine? Oh, this one costs two. I probably should have unlocked something else. Whatever. So how do I know how many... I have zero talent. Fine. Alright, now what were we supposed to do next? This guy wants... Strong poison. I don't really believe you, but whatever, here you go. I gave myself, like, this potion of poison. Let's see if you actually are willing to pay for it. It's not bad. Hello, there's an ice elemental. You need a fire potion. Okay, we don't know about those yet. Um, however... What we can do is look around on the map. And, uh, you would sort of expect to see that fire bell leads you in the fire direction. And I, I did see this... Hello? When I was watching... The, like, kind of introduction that I watched... That I mentioned earlier. So, in fact, if we go over here, we do wind up, I believe, with a fire potion. You might need more. Yeah, you have to go even further left. Or west, maybe. Hmm. Can't quite get to the strong version, huh? I see. I think there would be a better way to make this if I had been careful. I don't have that much fire bell left, but now that I know where this thing is, I want to try making a better one. Um, one approach, of course, would be to just, like, finish moving until I get to here, and then, like, you know, toss in some wind bloom. I guess that's probably fine. But I believe I could do it with just the three fire bell if I hadn't, you know, I could grind them a different amount. There you go. Oh, bellows, right. I was like, how do I get the thing out? So here's this fire potion you wanted. Wow, you're very happy. 41 bucks. I was thinking I might choose to play this game without haggling existing. Just choose never to haggle, even though it's obviously worse. I might have a better experience, assuming like not like dying for money. Okay, so you you need like a water or cold elemental or mm, potion, 
And wouldn't you wouldn't you guess that it's over to the right in the water bloom direction? Away from fire? It all just makes perfect sense. So let's actually stir this one up first so that I can maybe see where I'm going. Uh-oh. This black stuff is bad. You don't want to go into it. If I do that, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get murdered, so let's not. Um... I mean, we could try going down and around. In fact, let's just go down this much. Then toss in more water bloom to go this way. I hope it's over here. We'll, we'll see. Deal, I'll take it. I think that is as good a recipe as we could have come up with for this, so I'll save that. Unlike the fire one where I think we could do better. Uh, maybe I could have gotten 43 if I taggled a bit more. I have another talent point. Let's take alchemy practice so that there's more, like, I guess that gives us more experience, basically. And that must be the end of the day. All right. Already grabbed all this junk, right? Yeah. Bedtime. Okay, so I guess all that's left to do for today is to make a potion of light, and someone's going to ask for that today, I think. Let's harvest up all this junk. Is everything? Okay. What do you want? You need poison. Or, no, healing. You want a healing potion with poison in it? I could do that. It would be quite expensive. But you could drink some and give some of the fish. It can be even. Uh, here's kind of a junk healing potion. Why don't you just take it? I'm not even going to haggle here. So you need... I think you want a fire potion. You want to burn something, but it's too wet. So this is my chance to try making a better uh, fire potion. So my thinking was... Um, don't grind it up all the way. Grind it up to, like, here, a bit higher, right? And then toss it in. I don't know. This might not be any better. Now, this, this next one, sure, let's grind it up all the... All the way. And the next one as well? It gets close. So you see, traveling near that, uh, this stuff, if you spend, if you go very deep at all into the Skulls area, your potion just breaks. Ah, still can't get a strong one. So you need three to reach over here. And then if you want to make it stronger, you need another potion. Or another ingredient of some kind. Either a fourth fire bell, if you do it this way. Or like, um... Something, whatever it was that makes us go up. We used last time, we used a wind bloom. Which, by the way, we have a lot more of. So, okay, that would have been better, but... I'm just going to take this potion we have here. We're just not very good at making fire yet until we discover a better ingredient.
Is this is that a reputation or I don't know what that is. That is a thing this game has. You your feet are very sore. I think I should just give you a healing potion. Um I have a recipe for like a good healing potion, but it sucks. Let's just um Let's make a weak healing potion. Here you go. Oh, you have, um... You're a mushroomer. Nope, you just sell mushrooms. Those are expensive. Ah, I see. This is like the opposite of a sale, sort of. Um, and there is nothing on sale. I have no idea which of these things I particularly need. So far, it seems like none of them. Well, you know what I'd like is something that helps me go left more efficiently? Left and up a bit. So, like, this might be worth something to make uh, fire potions. No, this goes down first. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really want any of this. Get out of here. A strange guest. He wants candles. Okay, so this is where we're asked to make a potion of light. Um, is that this one here? Kind of in the fire direction? But then going up? I think it is. So really the only way we could do it would be to make some of this stuff and then go... Uh, with this. I mean, actually, I don't even have to grind it, do I? Great! What a lovely potion. It's a potion of light! Well, we'll save that recipe, that seems like a good way to get here. What the heck is this? I've completed chapter one, so there's new kinds of stuff. And you you you, uh, you make the game more complicated as you go, I guess. Uh, okay, well, here you go. Have a potion of light. Oops. Oh my gosh, I'm doing a terrible job. You're gonna run me out of business with these deals, but it turned out fine. Three robbers attacked you, but they beat you. And you want a healing potion. Well, I mean, I know recipes for bad healing potions, and you don't deserve a good one, sorry. So one potion I don't haggle on, though. Just not worth the bother. Oh, why do you want poison? I don't know. Sure, go ahead and tell me. And we have a recipe for poison potions, although I think it was not very valuable, so I maybe just, like, make a crummy one? Yeah, I don't really want to spend two fire, bloom on, fire bell on this. So, I think we'll just make this one by hand. Uh, poison's down here. Ah, that's true. I don't have to actually put that in yet. But I think... I want to go that way, right? I want to do this, and then go down, so I pick up a couple of those books. So 
there's, there's like things you're supposed to do here, like make a potion with two different effects. That's great, but so far nobody's wanted one. I'm not sure why I would make one. You know, pour water in to... Um, move. So you can... You can always move back towards the center. You can dilute the potion. I've already gotten the effect, so I can, like, do this and grab the talent point on the way, I guess. Sure. Uh, finish potion. Here you go. So, it's a potion of poisoning that I poured a bunch of water in. Hope you, I hope you like it. Uh, I'm not gonna haggle with a witch. I know better than to do that. I guess that's today, huh? But I have a talent point, which... Visibility radius, sure. We already farmed, right? Yeah. Nothing there. I want a calendar that just says three. What day is it? Oh, you know, it's three. No big deal. We get a fair amount of, like, Terraria every day. Or maybe, is it Windbloom we were getting a bunch of there? Oh, hey, look, a cool little mushroom. It was Shadow Chanterelle, I think. Almost didn't notice it. Yeah, and so there's these, like, green things, which I guess are extra experience compared to these kind of yellow ones. Oh, you look like a wizard, dude. You only have enchanted paper. Sure, so that, like, makes the recipe book bigger. Sort of expensive, isn't it? Don't you think? I mean, let's, let's delete this page. That recipe sucks. So, I mean, in principle, you don't ever need the recipe book, but it makes it a lot faster than doing the same repetitive mixing for potions you already know about. I'd be happy to buy, like, some... I, mean, I, have, I have a bunch of money, right? Like... Well, I don't know about a bunch. Uh, hello, where is he? He's over here. I mean, I could... That's one sheet of paper? I don't know, give me two. There's a few things I'll want, I guess. I'll definitely haggle for this amount. It's like all my money. That's okay. Yay, 256. Still expensive. Yes, goodbye. A pretty penny, or you want liquid fire? Do you want like healing and fire, or just fire? Probably fire, right? Well, okay. So we we never did get a good recipe for fire, I think. So what is this? Oh, you can. Right. You can choose what kind of bottle it comes out in, just for aesthetic purposes. There you go. That's a potion of fire. Amazing. Oh, you can use by default for weak? Hmm. Woo! Okay. Wild. Um... And you can choose what goes on the label when you're making your potions. So, like, I think it defaults to reasonable-looking labels. Like, that's poison, right? But you could use a different look. And what is this? Oh, color. Ah, and if you pick something that has, like, multiple color areas, you can choose what color each one is. Oh, my gosh.
Well, whatever. We'll, we'll give him the fire in a... This is a tremendously inefficient shape. It's so hard to actually empty this, right? Because when you turn it over, liquid gets stuck in these little nooks and crannies. Nobody would ever sell a potion in this in this shape, I think. So none of these new ingredient types that we picked up would really help us get over there. What if I just toss another one in there? Is that does that work? No. Oh, it gave me one back. Interesting. So grinding it up is not permanent. You can undo it until you toss it into the stew. It's all ground up, right? Yeah. It's worth tossing in one wind bloom to get a better potion, and we can also explore this area a bit. Oops, don't don't toss that in there. Um, we'll just uh, use the bellows as we're passing by here, and then pick up some of that experience on the way. So I don't really know what we got out of doing that. Yay, it's level two. Okay, well, we picked up one or two of those dudes. Uh, finish that all potion. Oh, making a custom potion was worth something too, huh? What else do they want me to do? Get popular and make the stuff they want. Make a potion with two things, which hopefully they'll actually ask me for. He fell. Alright. I have just the thing. He's a little kid, he probably doesn't need a very good healing potion. That's my opinion. Although I guess maybe I could have picked up some experience by going and making it by hand. I assume someone else will want a healing potion by the end of the day. Children have started going missing. They think it's a merman. You want a thunder potion. Well, where would we look for that? Up here, maybe? We have fire and light. Maybe in between them, but there's obviously nothing there. Any talent points? No. Alright, well, I mean, like, let's just start heading up, get some wind bloom in there, and see what happens. Everyone knows wind bloom is very thundery. Uh, okay, well, let's try heading to the right, since we're good at doing that cheaply, I guess. <laughs> that would be an interesting little shape. But I think we'll just toss in some boring old water bloom. Wind and water? Like, that sounds like thunder, doesn't it? Something up here. Well, I mean, this would take me in the right direction. And so would this. Or I could use, like, some water bloom and another wind bloom. Which, those are very cheap. I guess I'll just do that. Um... Let's not grind this one up all the way. Let's stop, like... There. Okay, I wish I had ground it up more. A little hard to tell where exactly it would go. I mean, I guess this might be okay. I think probably not, though. 
not great anyway. Well, at least we'll learn a little bit more about what's over here. Now, this also will not really get me to the center, I suppose. Yeah. Um, we don't use a lot of Terraria. I think it's worth just uh, spending some here to get a better potion. Because again, I have not yet run into any ingredient troubles. What did I make? Potion of man, so not what we want. But we learned what's over there. Where else could we look for lightning? This way? Sure. Not very good at going left. I wish you wouldn't make me do that. Well, let's just toss some Terraria in there, I guess. Uh, actually, hang on. Let's go left first. So I can pick up that kind of green spot. And, uh... Maybe go, like, a bit more left, so we can... I don't know, I'm just gonna add some weak poison here, and... I hope you don't mind a poisonous, thunderous sword. Or whatever. Anything down here, you think? Maybe stop, like, there? Uh, okay, there's something there and something here. Well, I guess we'll just make more Terraria go in there. This is an expensive potion you're buying, buddy. I could use a Dryad Saddle to make this a better potion. Sure, I guess. That's Stone Skin! They don't want this either. Lightning? Over here? I hope not. I can't go very far left. Um, we can check out what's down here, I guess. I don't have any talent points, do I? Oh, I do. I could have used that before. I just, I probably just got it okay, for doing this exploration. Um, what takes me to the right? This stuff does. Let's go over there and see what's going on. Uh, let's try going down some more? Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. I, <laughs> they didn't cover this in alchemy class. Ah! What button did I push? I don't know. I saved the recipe. Okay, let's head down more. I hope somebody's gonna want this. And I can make a pretty crummy uh, 
with my last fire bloom, whatever this is, and hope somebody will buy it. Fast growth. Okay. Well, sorry to disappoint you, sir. I have no idea how to make this shit. Um... And I, I can't even go left anymore, so... If what you want is over there, I can't give it to you. What, what, do, you, what do you think, um... What, what if I poisoned him? I'm not impressed? You got a wizard nearby? No. Alright, well, get out of my shop, you jerk. Yes, I need herbs. I need all of this. What is this, banana? I'm doing okay on water bloom. Ice bloom. I don't know, just give me like a hundred of these. I'm kind of running out of ways to go down as well, right? I've done a lot of exploring in that direction. But you don't really have any of that, so I guess I'll just... I'll just fight you for this stuff? Yeah. What do you need? Oh, you need a potion of mana. I have those. There you go. A massive anthill. Would you like a potion of poison and also stone skin? No. You don't want ants who are poisoned and also stone skinny. And they'd be easier to dispose of, right? Sort of? Easier to pick up without squishing them? Alright, well, I guess I could make another. Actually, wait, I already have a recipe for the crummy potion of poison, don't I? That's oh, a good potion, huh? I don't want to spend two fire blooms on this garbage. Um, so we could do this. Fire bell, whatever. Let's save that recipe and like throw away the recipe for good poison. Oops, I missed by like a mile there. And here's the last thing you want. Be a friend, give me a healing remedy, a stronger healing potion. So, like, if I made you a crummy one, you might be mad. Maybe. Fine. You can have a good one. Or is that what I want? Yeah, I guess. Oh, this isn't even going to make a good one, is it? Gonna have to go lower. Uh, actually this Tangleweed seems nice. You know, I'd rather spend one Tangleweed than a Water Bloom and a Terraria, I guess, maybe?
Look at this loop de loop. Ah, I missed it. Wow. That's rude. Okay. Well. I mean, I was supposed to make a strong one. This sucks. Probably could have gotten away with making a weak one, but... I mean, this probably is going to be a weak one, isn't it? Should just quit while I had even a single. All right. I hope you'll put up with this because I'm too bad at potioning to give you a good one. He just he said, "Oh, I want a strong one," but he just takes the same kind everybody else wants, I guess. All right, off to bed. And I guess that's the end of episode one. It's almost an hour. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I guess I'll do a second episode after this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.